Hello friends, I am Dilip Singh. Welcome to the 17th CSS lecture of uh, the Tutorial Series for Web Programming. Today, we will see the CSS cursor properties. Right. And uh, what basically CSS cursor properties uh, do? So, cursor property used to specify the type of a cursor that should be displayed to the user right so uh, there are many values uh, that uh, the css cursor property can have the the first value here you can see the auto right if you'll put the value auto in the cursor property so it will automatically shape the cursor depending on where the cursor is for example uh, it will shape the cursor as a hand if the cursor goes uh, over a link right there are other values like cross cross here may uh, cross here's uh, basically put the plus sign then default is an arrow cursor then pointer is a pointing hand the text i bar weight waiting cursor then help question mark and so on so there are many uh, cursor shapes uh, available as a value that we can use so let's see one by one of, of a few values of cursor properties so here we are having that initial web page and uh, in this web page we are having two element heading first heading and paragraph this is my first paragraph and uh, the style already have set for heading the border and the paragraph also the border the paragraph having the red color border and the heading having the blue color border so let's see initially how our web pages look like this is how our web page is initially the page and now if I'll uh, you can see here our uh, cursor how it look like it's it's a arrow right and if if i'll move to the cursor into the paragraph then it become i bar it become i bar you, you can see from arrow to i bar and here also arrow to i bar right so right now by default it is uh, i can say here uh, that web browser is changing our cursor uh, depending to the context where our cursor is okay so if you want to change the cursor type then uh, how we can do let's see suppose what i want i want that when the cursor move over the first heading element its type should become um, crosshair so what I'll do in heading because I want in heading so in heading I'll make a cursor property with the value crawl share that's it and I'll save it and if I'll go to the browser and refresh it if I'll move my cursor right now cursor is having arrow simply if I'll move our cursor to the heading it become you can see it become crosshair right you can see the plus sign crosshair outside the heading it's again a simple arrow inside the heading it become crosshair uh, suppose I want to in place of course here to be a pointer so what I will do I'll change its value to pointer now if I'll refresh it if I'll move my cursor to the heading it become now see pointer so pointing hand basically right so this is how we can change uh, the type of our cursor and in place of pointer suppose I want to make it uh, weight weight it's uh, how it look like uh, we'll refresh it and you can see here it's a waiting pointer 
waiting curve for this v right see and uh, similarly we can use help help i'll save it and refresh it and here the question mark with a uh, arrow cursor this this is called the help cursor okay so uh, there are many type of a cursor available you can choose or you can set the cursor type according to your need or requirement using cursor property with its different available values okay so this is all for this lecture and friends after watching this video lecture if you feel that it was very helpful to understand the concepts then please like and subscribe the video thank you guys